Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Sunday, coming at you with 2022 Topps Pristine Baseball. It's a half case break, pick your team at number seven. All card ship, a lot of nice stuff in here. A lot of packs to work through, but ultimately, uh, it's a pretty nice break. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. On a Sunday, the 14th, Emma ended up with that last spot mojo star next to her name. Remember, uh, last spot mojo, 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Now, if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team in a fillip. All right, so here's a fresh case of pristine. Sort of a large, awkward case. Let's carefully put this on our table here. Awkward box shape. All right. So we got four boxes on the left side, and then four boxes on the right side here. We'll roll the die. We'll use that nice Dodger blue die right here. So one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this we will save for next time. Next time will be break number eight. You know, it's kind of hard to see, but I wrote that number eight on each of those so we know they're all from the same case. All right, now let's see what's in here. Let's show you the list one more time. Break seven, first half of the case. That's what we're looking for. And also looking for him too. Good luck, everybody. We got Yankees red at Red Sox on in the ba background. I feel like this game's been moving pretty quickly. It's in the top of the seventh right now. Red Sox up three nothing. Seems to be a pretty brisk game. A lot of times these uh, these Red Sox these Red Sox Yankees games can uh, can go for hours. What time is it? It's only. I don't know when this game started, but it's only six o'clock on the West Coast. It's a final in Washington. Padres up six nothing. How about about Fernando Tatis Jr. getting popped for PEDs. That's not good. He was already already uh, making his way back from riding motorcycles, breaking his wrist, and now this. It's not a good look for him. How does it feel to lose to the Royals? The Dodgers really didn't lose to the Royals. They won the series. That's what counts. Two out of three from the Royals. Every dog has its day. I don't feel feel pretty good about it. The series. A lot of layers in this piscina. This is your first look at it. Guardians beat the Blue Jays seven to two.
Braves beat the Marlins 3 to 1. Rays beat the Orioles 4 to 1. Reds beat the Cubs 8 to 5. Mets shut out the Phillies. Mets with a healthy pitching staff. That's a team I it's going to be really scary in the uh, in the playoffs, that's for sure. Got the White Sox beating the Tigers 5 to 3. Yeah, Royals two hit the uh, two hit my Dodgers today. Four nothing, only two hits. But I think it was their first rounder, Brady Singer on the mound. He's supposed to be doing that kind of stuff. Future ace. Astros six to three over the A's. Cardinals over the Brewers six to three. Rangers beat the M's five to three. Albert Pujols hit a home run today. He's at 689. Yeah, Chase is saying, yeah, Singer's really settled in. Future is bright for Brady Singer. He's had a handful of good starts. My last five or six starts have been really good. Pujols hit two home runs. He's retiring this year, right? I feel like he should just do one more season. You think he'll do one more season? Just to just to get to a nice 700 number. I mean, he's got to finish with like 695 by the end of the year, right? You think he just come back, hit a few more homers, get to seven, and then call it? Diamondbacks beat the Rockies seven to four. Giants beat the Pirates eight to seven. Angels beat uh, the Twins four to two. And that's your scoreboard. And the only live game happening right now is Sunday Night Baseball. That would be uh, Yankees at Red Sox. All right, here's box one of four. All card ships are going to get all this. Rays are going to get Wander Franco. There you go, TJ. Wander Franco rookie card out of pristine. Oliver saying Pools is done. You don't think he'll... What if he ends at 699? Think he comes back? All right, now this pack had a big card in here. Those are the cup, the cards banded on top. There's Mike Zunino, three out of twenty-five. That's for TJ and the Rays. There's a Beau Bichette purple to 99. And behind Nick Castellanos is a slice of a star jersey and autograph Andy Pettit. Nice orange parallel, 11 out of 25. Show you that back in just a second. That goes to Martin and the Yankees with the spot that he won in the filler. Nice. All right. Your encased cards, we got a Tyler Glass now for the Rays and TJ to 75. We've got an Eloy Jimenez. We've got two autographs here. Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox, going to Howard. And we've got a popular demand autograph, Rhino, Ryan Sandberg for the Cubbies. That'll be for Billy Doring. Team Doring getting in on the action, getting some, uh, some cards here. Ken Griffey Jr., Mariners edition. That'll be for Billy in Seattle. And we got a Tory Hunter, Howard, and the Twins. That's gold, 30, 43 out of 50. And we got a Man Ram, Manny Ramirez, for the Red Sox. That is for TJ. All right, that was box one. Here's box two.
Yeah. Sounded good off the bat. At the wall. Nice catch. Really looked at the standings in a little bit. Looks like the Yankees are comfortably leading the AL East. They're ten and a half games ahead of the Blue Jays and the Rays. Eleven and a half games ahead of the Rays. Got the Guardians leading the AL Central by two and a half games, leading the Twins and the White Sox. They've won seven of their last 10, the Guardians have. Astros are leading comfortably in the AL West. They're 13 games ahead of the Mariners. Um, let me check the wild card hunt in just a second. But so, so it looks like the AL Central still has a fun divisional battle happening there. Let's see if the Twins or the White Sox can close close that gap. I feel like the White Sox on paper are pretty good, but they got they got they got everything clicks. They could be a pretty dangerous team. Mets are five and a half games ahead of the Braves. So that's still a bit of a race there. Could be a lot closer race in the A or the NL Central. Cardinals only up one and a half games on the Brewers. Still can't make sense of the. It might have been a financial thing, or maybe they knew Josh Hader wasn't going to re-sign or something like that. But still can't really make sense of that Josh Hader trade. I heard some rumblings, and this might just be unfounded speculation that that after that trade, there's been a, you know, possibly some some chemistry issues happening in that locker room. There, players aren't happy. And, uh, and the Dodgers have a pretty commanding lead in the a NL West. In the next box, we'll take a look at the, the wild card race, which, since they reconfigured it, involves some more teams. More teams are in it. Actually, I'm going to have to rip open these packs, too, so <laughs> a lot of packs to open up. All right, well, AL wild card. We've got Toronto and the Mariners currently are locked in, in, a, in those wild card spots. Blue Jays are one game ahead in the wild card race. Mariners are half a game ahead in the wild card race. And Tampa Bay is in a wild card spot. And there's some teams that are right behind them. The Orioles, one and a half games back. Twins and White Sox, two games back. But they're also in on the division, too. That could be interesting. Long shot, Red Sox. They're five games back of a wild card spot. They got to start doing some work. Um, Rangers are nine and a half back, so they're a little ways, a little little ways to go. They they need a little more luck. Braves are six games ahead in the wild card, so they're pretty entrenched in that wild card spot. Padres are still in the mix of a wild card spot. They're half a game ahead. Phillies have the third wild card spot with the uh, Brewers. One and a half games behind the Phillies. Giants are six games back of a wild card spot. So it's a little ways to go for, for the Giants. The Padres can still get in there. Unless the Brewers catch them. Brewers and Phillies. Kind of like that extra wild card spot. Kind of gets them... Uh, kind of like that. And it keeps more teams involved. I guess maybe that's why the trade window wasn't too crazy, but I think more teams are, are eager to be be buyers or try to be winners here. 37 out of 50. Martin with the Angels. I think that promotes more winning, less tanking. That O'Neill Cruz rookie card going to Mike and the Pirates. Is There's already a magic. Dodgers magic number is 32 to win the division. That is a magic number, Oliver. 
That is definitely a magic number. That's my favorite magic number. We got Freddie Freeman, gold. Still Braves edition here to 50. Another O'Neill Cruz, Reggie Jackson to 99. Kyle Lewis to 99. Johnny Bench and Brian Reynolds. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners, that'll be for Billy. Mr. October, going to Oliver and the A's. Another O'Neill Cruz from Mike and the Pirates. And that Freddie Freeman goes to James and the Braves. And the auto here behind Leon Hendricks is Slice of a Star Jersey and Otto Walker Bueller. Hopefully we'll be coming off the uh, the IL pretty soon. He might sneak in a start or two, but he might have that, uh, this, which could be kind of scary. He might be in sort of a long reliever role, 48 out of 50 in the playoffs. Martin with my Dodgers. I mean, he can come out there firing darts for a few innings. That could be really scary. Mmm, burger. Jake Burger. Rookie auto for the White Sox. That'll be for Howard and the White Sox. Got the White Sox straight up. You'll, you'll also get this Lance Lynn. That's numbered to 75. Brewers, Eric, with the Robin Yount to 75. Pedro Martinez, five out of five. That's a train whistle for TJ. TJ. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Bought a spot in the filler, got randomized the Red Sox in pristine. Ends up with the Pedro Martinez. We got a Nadal's Garcia for the Rangers. That's gonna go to Howard. And a Randy Arozarena autograph for TJ. Nice break for you, TJ, so far. We're only halfway through this break. 40 out of 99. All right, next box. Right, that, that could be a Walker Bueller, Dustin May, Blake Trinan sort of long reliever situation going on. Although Dustin May might be ready to start though, Oliver. He's being stretched out in the minors. So he might actually have a starting role. I guess he's coming out to Tommy John. You don't want to get him too too crazy, but if he can maybe get five efficient innings in there. Walker Bueller could piggyback off of Dustin May for a couple innings. Could be pretty scary. Yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, playoff roster decisions are going to be tough. I was just kind of thinking, who would start game one? Is that Julio Urias going to start game one? Right, Julio Urias, and then what? Then Gonsolin? I think they might have Kershaw start. But Julio might be the only guy that they're gonna, they're gonna have go like, maybe Kershaw at home and then then you have like Gonsolin maybe trusted to go like five innings or so, five or maybe six if he's having a good game. But then you have, then I guess the rest of the starts will, I think will kind of be like Tyler Anderson, Walker Bueller, Dustin May kind of hybrid, hybridy sort of games. And then the bullpen fills out the rest.
good problems to have. A little worried about Craig Kimbrell in high leverage situations, but if Blake Trinan's back, I'll bet I'll bet Blake Trinan will get more looks closing out games. Yeah, bats off the bench. Alberto, yeah, I think it's Hanser Alberto, Barnes, Gallo, Thompson. That probably makes sense. I mean, you gotta have Hanser's sort of energy there. Barnes, the extra catcher. Here's, speaking of catchers, here's Yachty. Slice of a star, jersey and autograph for Matthew Wood and the Cardinals. And Gallo's a lefty, right? And Trace is a righty, so that kind of makes sense. I think they've earned those spots there as well. There's Aaron Judge. It's 25. I think he's 0 for the evening, but he... Might get another at bat. Try to get another. Try to get a dinger here. Here's Casey Mize for the Tigers. That's for Martin. Is Gallo a switcher? I guess I never realized that. It's Justin Turner. 75 for the Dodgers. That'll be for Martin. The autograph, the Jose Canseco, Oliver. Here's the pristine Jose Canseco. He seems to be pretty common here every other break. Matt Manning, rookie autograph for the Tigers. That's for Martin. And that's to 50. Got a rookie card, Vidal Brujan, to 15 out of 15. Low number here for TJ and the Rays. Got Schmitty, Mike Schmidt. For uh, Howard and the Phillies, 10 out of 25. And Liam Hendricks, his all-star gear for the White Sox. That's going to be for Howard as well. Final box coming up. Season. We've been doing half case breaks, so if it's if it's every other case, it's maybe a one per case, one per case. Uh, Jose Canseco, it seems like anyway. So what does everyone think? Who does everyone have in the AL Central to win the AL Central? Guardians are currently up two and a half games on both the Twins and the White Sox. Who do we have by the end of the season? Oliver says Guardians. Yeah, the Guardians currently have a plus 25 run differential on the season. It's kind of a good indicator for a team. Um, 
Queens have a plus 17 run differential. Pretty close. And the White Sox, who are 200 games back, have a minus 14 run differential. That's, that's not a good sign in spite of their record. I think the White Sox kind of... So I'll say, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I feel like they're just, just been underperforming. Gilo, who is a fan of the Royals, so he follows the AL Central pretty closely. He's saying Guardians, too. Francona not getting enough credit. Yeah, Francona might have a good good shot at manager of the year, right? Bradley, if you buy the last four spots, spots, when would this break? I'm not sure. Check the schedule that's pinned in the chat. That'll tell you. If something else hasn't filled up after the next couple breaks or so, I think it would be right after whatever the next break. I think we got a select break coming up. So if nothing else is sold out before then, that would be the next thing on the schedule after the select break. Another hour or so maybe? But select breaks like 45 minutes, something like that. Hour, I guess by the time I print out labels and put the break away and all that, it turns out to be an hour. I think I'm running a tiny bit behind. Uh, yeah, I think I'm running a tiny bit behind here on this pristine break. A lot of packs. So I would say an hour-ish from, uh, from now. All right, let's do the last box here. Well, Josiah Gray's actually been having a pretty nice season, Richard J. Here's his rookie card, former Dodger. behind that card up there. There's Austin Meadows, 38 out of 50 for the Rays. There's Kirsch, Clayton Kershaw for Martin. That's out of 99. There's Jackie Robinson, that'll go to you too. Here's the original Tom Terrific, 12 out of 99. Tom Seaver for the Mets, that'll be for Ryan. The Kirsch once again goes to the Dodgers and the Meadows goes to TJ and the Rays. What's up, Rex? Yeah, Gilo, no one's a... Uh, I, I, when I did a check on the standings, I kind of checked the standings maybe once a week or so. I don't obsess too much over it. It's all surprised to see the Guardians up top there. Here's Rafael Devers. I think he hit a homer tonight against the Yankees on Sunday Night Baseball. Jersey and auto for the Red Sox. TJ in the Red Sox. All right, and your final encased cards we got. Adalas Garcia for the Rangers. Howard with Texas. Good penmanship here. I love Robin Yount's auto. Robin Yount, Brew Crew. That will be for Eric L. There's Yankees edition of Joey Gallo. That will go to Martin. 62 out of 75 on that one. O'Neill Cruz, nice rookie card for the Pirates. Mike G, who won that spot in the filler. Randy Arozarena for the Rays, for TJ. And we got a Mitch Hanniger orange for the Mariners. That's gonna be for Billy Doring. Nine out of 25 on that one, Billy. There you go, yeah, he's clapping his hands. Let's go, there you go. Thanks everybody for watching. That was Pristine Pick Your Team 7 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second half's in the store if you wanna run this back tonight. We'll see you next time for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.